The name Richard Harding is not associated with any of today's pop groups or pop idols. I've come to his studios in Bramley to discuss one or two things about his musical career. First of all, if I can ask you, when you were first influenced by the guitar and roughly what age were you at the time? The first influence of guitar I had was uh, I played piano at the local youth club in Pudsey. Oh. And uh, Rock Around the Clock came out. I went to South, went to Bradford to see, see that and were mind blown by it. A week later, a guy came to the youth club with a guitar. He became a friend quite later on, but all of a sudden he was a superstar because he had a guitar, and I thought, I'm having some of this. <laughs> and so we, I think I would have been 14, and uh, so we we met a guitar. My dad made a guitar, and I started playing then. Uh, the first influence, my father was in the recording industry, and... He, being a musician, he, he liked Les Paul oh, yes. and Mary Ford, and that was the first guitar music I had. Then I sort of listened to that and listened to Bill Ailey. Then I think when I first came across here with the Students Club in Bradford, when we were both alive and young, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it, it just went on from there. I, I just loved the guitar. Then one day I heard my dad said... Uh, got this LP by a guy called Chet Atkins. So I said, yeah, but OK, so I've got this. And I said, yeah, but I've heard it all before. Les, Les Paul does all this stuff. He said, yeah, but this fella's playing it all at once. You know, lot, lot overlaying one track onto the other. It's, I said, no, no, you can't, can't do that. And uh, so then I said, well, maybe he is. And so you know what I mean, Garth, in, like Chet played, either acoustic or electric, it wouldn't matter. But he, his idea was... He had his own little orchestra, he'd, he'd pick a, a thing like, uh, say three little words there. Uh. Yeah. Now, but he'd do that, then he'd have this. He'd have his, his little orchestra. But then, you know, you listen to Chet, then Jerry Reed came along. And the first time I heard Jerry Reed play was uh, the this, this signature tune for, uh, was it Saturday, not Saturday Club, I think it could have been Saturday Club, Saturday, Saturday Club, morning. Yeah, yeah. And I, I heard this thing, and it, it, I don't know if I can play it, so I've got a broken nail, but it went. <laughs> What's he doing? Where's this come from? You know, it, it, that can't be done. And this is like 1963, four. Yeah, yeah. And because we didn't have the facilities to look and see these people, then you to listen to it mostly on Radio Luxembourg uh, and work it out for yourself how they did it. Now, did strangely it, yes. enough, now I've seen Jerry Reed play it. Uh, we weren't far wrong. The six, be 64. We, the Cresters, did. Um, by this time, not Mike Sagan, the guest, and Johnny Casson and my brother and Malcolm Clark, who was with yes, you. Yes. Um, and we did a live kids' television series from Manchester with uh, Tony Hart, Ray Allen, and Titch uh, yeah. called Time for Titch. And uh, we used to do it live on a Wednesday or Friday. And we had an agent, a guy called Jeff Baker, great character. Uh, and he always used to come to the rehearsal. And this was a Friday in Manchester, and uh, he didn't show up. So I rang him after we'd done the race. I said, you haven't been down, Jeff? He said, no, and I'm a bit tied up. He said, I'm, I'm taking Chad Kinch and Jim Reeves out to dinner. I said, pardon? Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said, don't be silly. You know, Chad Kinch and Jim Reeves are not in this country. You know, they, they live in America. He said, no, I said, they've been doing a show in Germany um, with Bobby Bear and Floyd Kramer, I think it was. And he said, they're on the way home, there's a problem with the plane, they've had to land in Manchester and they're here for a night. So I still didn't believe him, you see. So I said, well, I'll tell you what, if you're going out with Jack, <laughs> you bring him down to see us tonight. <laughs> so we were at this club called the Young Proud Club. Did the TV live, went for something to eat, and came down and walking down the street. Young Proud Club, it was, we were downstairs. Box AC 30 with 215, and walking down the steps, and it's all pillars in this place. Leaned up against one, so this tall guy, I thought, I know him. 
and tag. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, cool, long story short, I got to introduce Ted and he said, you know, this is Richard, this is Charkins, and he said, I'm mighty glad you enjoy my picking. And I looked him straight in there and I went, I did. And then we got this recording test at Abbey Road, HMB, on the 10th of September 1959. We did. I never forgot. We walked in the studio and the shadows were the big, Cliff Richard, the shadows were the big thing. We went in the studio and the Shadows bass player, Jairus, then. He had this huge bass cabinet, which we'd never seen anything like it, you know, that we were still playing through radios at Students Club, weren't we? You know? uh, and they'd recorded their first record the day before. I think called Drifting, I think it was, because they were called the Drifters. They were called the Drifters, yeah. Uh, and we did this recording test, and they offered us a, a five record deal. Mm -hmm. um, so we recorded Deep Feeling, which released in. Um, December 2nd, 1960, 40 years later, isn't it, that Chuck Berry had been getting most of our money, which <laughs> is 70 bits, in, you know, in his yeah. terms. But he did an instrumental called Deep Feeling. He did do And it one. must yes. have come up on whoever were paying the royalties for right, Deep yeah. Feeling, Chuck Berry, right, and yeah. he got the money. Well, Richard, uh, I think we more or less covered all aspects uh, of your career. Not not everything I know because yeah, of the time brilliant. element, but at brilliant. least we've had a few memories and a few little laughs. And I think there's only one thing that I can possibly ask you to finish with, and that's seeing we've got a guitar in your, your hands. Maybe you'd just give us a little bit of a, a sample. A sample. A sample. Yeah. A sample. <laughs>